Hello friends, uh, today I am going to teach you how to convert uh, NDFA to DFA. So before starting we should be clear about what is NDFA and what is DFA, what is the difference between both of the things. So you might be aware of the thing that in NDFA the very basic difference is that in the NDFA what happens is on giving a certain input to a state it might transit to multiple states right like here on giving a to q0 it is transiting to q0 as well as q1 right whereas in dfa it doesn't happen in dfa what happens is whenever you give a to a certain state it will only transit to one state rather than multiple states right so now what you have to do is we have to convert this ndfa to a dfa that is a machine in which on giving one input a state will transit only to a to a single state okay all right so it is this uh, this is the state transition diagram uh, sorry it's state transition table which has been constructed by this diagram so on giving q0 uh, like when you give a to q0 it transits to q0 and q1 and similarly all these things okay q2 is your final state now what we'll do is it's very simple what we'll do is we'll start from this state this particular state that is q0 and we'll write in the new transition table that is like this okay what is it, whatever is the first tuple you just write it down okay all right i've written it here okay, on giving a to q0 you can see that on giving a to q0 it is transiting to q0 and q1 and on giving b to q0 it's transiting to q0 all right now if we switch to next thing what happens is now what is the second step the sec on second step what you do is what we have to take care in this is that okay, whenever we'll just encounter any new type of state we'll just put it in the state state column of the table and we'll try to define it further all right so here if you can see that you have got here q0 you have given a to q0 and then you get q0 and q1 and here q0 now here these two states won't, won't be considered as two different states that is ki aap isko ye nahi manoge ki yahan pe aapke do state hai isko aap ek single state maan ke chalo ki ek state hai yahan pe braces mein aapne likha hua hai ki q0 q1 matlab isko ek ek state mana aapne okay तो ये स्टेट जो है ये आपके लिए नई स्टेट है यू आर नॉट हैविंग दिस स्टेट यू हैवेंट लाइक यू आर नॉट बीन गिवन एनी दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टेट यू हैव डिस्कवर्ड इट बिकॉज ऑफ डी एफ एन डी एफ ए सो वट यू विल डू इज यू विल डिफाइन दिस स्टेट इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप सो वट यू डू जस्ट राइट दिस स्टेट योर बिकॉज यू नीड टू डिफाइन इट सो क्यू जीरो एंड क्यू वन हाउ यू विल डिफाइन दिस दिस कम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग You just go back on the previous table, whatever you are given, and your new state was Q zero Q one. Okay, so what you will do is on giving Q zero A, what you get is Q zero Q one. And on giving A to Q one, what you get is nothing. So what will be the union of both of the things? It will be again Q zero Q one. Whereas when you when you give B to Q zero and Q one, what happens? When you give B to Q zero, you get Q zero. When you give B to Q one, you get Q two. All right. So you'll just union it. You'll get Q zero, Q two. So you can see here Q zero, Q one, and Q zero, Q two. Now again, check check it out. Just scan this row, and you'll get to know what new state have you discovered. You have discovered Q zero and Q two now. Now you need to define Q zero and Q two. The same process you'll apply. First of all, you'll get A to Q zero and Q two. Whatever you'll get, you'll write here the union of that, and then you'll get B to Q zero and Q two. You'll write the union here. All right. After doing all this, you'll again check whether you have got any new state Q zero Q two. Have you defined Q zero Q two? Sorry, here Q zero Q one already defined. Q zero is already defined. You need not to do any further thing. Any uh, new state you haven't got. Now you need to. So your question has been done. Well, now, now you need to make the state transition diagram. So what you will do is Q zero. You are giving A to Q zero, and you get Q zero and Q one. So you'll write it like this. See, now the very important question which you need to notice is that 
which will be your final states earlier if you go back to your diagram your final state was q2 now if you go to the table final table you are not having any q2 over here right but it is coming in this part okay so wherever the q2 will appear you will make that state the final state and the rest is usual you'll just make the table how you will make q0 adr q0 q1 see adr q0 q1 bdr to q0 itself so now you can see in this diagram on giving certain input the state is transiting to only single state rather than multiple states okay that's all for today if you have any questions if you write in the comment box i'll be just uh, solving your problem thank you for being here